In this video, we're going to use the circle paywall feature to give access to our community, as well as send over that customer's data into high level for email marketing and utilizing them in the workflows and whatever automations you want to. So to get started, we have to create a paywall inside of our circle account. You can go in the upper left hand side here, drop down this little navigation next to your logo and then select paywalls. I'm in the process of rolling out my own paywalls here, experimenting with them and playing around with them. Uh, but you'll need to create a new paywall and we're going to create a new one and you can create paywalls for anything inside of your community. It's all about giving access to different space groups and spaces based on what you're setting up. And that could be access to event spaces, that could be access to a course or your community in general. So let's say that we were using the community as Pretty much like an all access thing so i'll create mine giving access to the entire community so once you've entered in a name a subtitle if you want it and a checkout description if you want it as well you can click next and then add a price you can set up a one-time fee a subscription or installments i think i'll set mine up as a one-time fee representing my lifetime deal that i have for my own all access pass and click save and then you can add more pricing so for example this could be my one-time lifetime membership fee. Uh, you could add a monthly, annual, whatever you want, but you can add up to six different pricing options. And then you get some settings down below, like whether or not existing members should be able to purchase the paywall. Uh, in my case, this is for new members only, so I'm not going to toggle that on. I'm going to click next. And here's where you choose what access they get when they purchase through this paywall. So in this case, I'll just give access to everything. And that'll be like my all access pass, so to speak. I'll click next and here you can choose what happens after they purchase, whether you want them to go to a thank you page uh, that's hosted um, on circle, whether you want to redirect them to a custom URL, uh, send them a post purchase. Thank you email uh, for us. I think what we're going to do is leave the thank you page toggled on redirecting to a custom URL would also be a totally acceptable option. Probably what I would use if I were setting mine up, uh, but we're not going to send them the post purchase email. What we're going to do instead is trigger that inside of high level after we add them inside of it because we like the emails coming from us and we like to create a more curated email experience than uh, can be provided by circle uh, next up you can implement tracking if you wish and then you click publish the easiest way to get the data out of your circle account from a paywall purchase and into another tool is zapier and that's because zapier is included on uh, most of these circle plans for example, on the professional plan at the $99 per month level in Circle, you get the Zapier integration. Uh, whereas if you're going to use another tool and you want to get access to the API, which is what you would need uh, for something like uh, Sure Triggers, uh, which at this point in time in making this video does not even support the paywall uh, API. Um, I have submitted that in feedback to them though. Uh, hopefully that gets added. Uh, but in order to use other tools like Make or Pably or any of the other ones, in order to get access to the API that you would need to get access to the paywall data, you would need the, the business level, the 219 per month, um, which has a lot of actually really useful features. Uh, but it is 219 per month, uh, which is greater than the cost of something like Zapier. So if you do the math, Technically, if you don't need anything else on the business plan and you just want the ability to integrate with uh, Circle and other tools, Zapier is going to be your most cost effective option. So we'll go ahead and proceed with uh, using Zapier and we'll do a trigger and that trigger will be Circle. And I feel like they redesigned the Zapier interface literally every single time I go into it. <laughs> so it's going to change. It may look different in the video a month from now. Uh, we need to choose an event and the event to get access to the paywall API is going to be uh, a new, let's see, new member paid charge here. So we'll choose new member paid charge and we'll click continue. We'll need to add our circle account. If you haven't already, um, just walk through the process. They walk you through it. It's easy. You just add your, your API key, super easy, and then click continue and then select your community that you just added and click continue. And now we need to test the trigger. So they're going to find a recent paid charge. You can always set up a coupon for your, uh, for your paywall and circle. If I click test trigger, it's going to find one for me. Uh, I did not pay the $1,500. Instead, what I did was I just used a coupon. So we'll go ahead and select this record. And then we're going to select what we want to do next inside of Zapier. And for us, it's going to be sending the data over into high level. Now we have a choice. We can send a webhook from Zapier, or we can utilize the lead connector app, which is basically the white labeled version of high level. And we need to choose an event and our event is going to be 
Um, basically, what we're trying to do is send that information over to high level, uh, not only as just a contact, but we also want to trigger things like workflows. So let's go ahead and add or update a contact. Let's click continue. And you're going to need to select your account. As you're setting up your account, it's going to ask you for your API key, which you can get by scrolling down under business profile settings uh, down to your API key, and you can copy it here. All right, once you've connected, uh, getting your API key under your business information and high level, adding it in where they asked for it, uh, you can select your account. So you can come into here and I'll select uh, my Tech Stack Live demo account. I'll click continue. And now we can start mapping the data that we got from our Circle Paywall. Uh, so we'll map in the full name because that's what gets sent over is the full name of the user. Uh, we don't need to get the phone number. We'll map in the email address. And then we'll go ahead and under tags, we're going to add some tags in here. They won't be dynamic or anything unless you wanted them to be, but we'll just put in a tag for like demo. I'll put demo AAP and that'll be uh, what we need for tagging. And then we have a required field for mark as lead. You can say true or false. I'll just put false. They don't need to be marked as a lead there. And then once you've chosen that, you can click continue and then you can test your step to see if it worked. Uh, and then you can always come back into your high level account and see if the uh, a user was created and you can see they were created and they were tagged. So at this point, we're ready to come into the automation section and create a workflow. And our workflow is going to be from scratch. And what we can do now is because we've added our user already by adding a tag to them, we can trigger this automation based off of a tag. So let's give us a, a name here and we'll just call it a circle paywall. Call yours, whatever you want to call it. And our trigger in this case will be that a contact receives a tag. Now, if we had not gone through the process of using the lead connector, let's say that we used a webhook instead, we could have just from Zapier sent a webhook over uh, to high level and received that inbound webhook and mapped off the data. I just feel like that's a little bit more complex than tagging them. And tagging them accomplishes uh, also the act of knowing what they purchased by creating that tag. So this is my preferred method, and it also doesn't cost a penny uh, for the premium action inside of high level. Uh, but okay, so we've got the contact tag. We need to choose what tag it is. So we will say tag added and we'll select our, what did we call it, demo AAP and we'll click save trigger. And now that the trigger has been added, anytime that paywall is purchased, they'll be added into our high level account and entered into this automation where we can click this plus symbol to do anything else that we want. Maybe we want to send them an email. And this is where I would send the welcome email, thanking them for purchasing, letting them know how to manage their account, maybe give them some helpful links back into Circle, uh, that type of thing, right? On Standard onboarding. But now because they're in high level, we can also utilize any of the other actions available to us. We've unlocked the ability for SMS. We've unlocked uh, additional custom webhooks where we can send webhooks out uh, to other tools that we might use. We've also gotten access to Google Sheets. I've had a lot of people ask me, how do I add people into a Google Sheet? Well, this is a very simple way to do it right here with the with this action. You can also use the math operations and the formatters and things like that under these tools inside of workflows. And this is a great way uh, if you offer kind of like a token system or a point system for your community members, I don't know whether it be purchase services from you. I had a client that wanted to set up like a, a point system where they bought through the paywall inside of Circle, got access to the community, everything was managed over there. And then they also were able to at the same time for every month that their subscription was active, we added another point, which after a certain number of points allowed them to book a help call. It was kind of a cool setup. Um, if you're interested in that kind of tutorial, let me know. But all of those types of things become available inside of high level, including the ability to book appointments and stuff like that. So a lot of really great things that you can do once the user has been added into your high level account. And if you're interested in selling access to your circle account in the other direction through a high level funnel, for example, in order to avoid the circle paywall fees, I have another tutorial coming for that one as well.